So this is example number eight for the washer method. They're asking us to rotate the region bounded by y equal to x and y equal to x squared. Part A, we're rotating about the x-axis, horizontal. Part B, about the y-axis, vertical. So we're going to have two different problems here. I already graphed them. There it is, y equal to x, y equal to x squared. When I rotate about the x-axis, I need to be in dx. And when I rotate this, I need to visualize two radii. The big radius goes from the axial revolution to the outside curve, to that one, the one that's larger. I'm going to call that big R, big radius. And I have a small radius that goes from the axis to the first curve which I will squeeze in right here. And that small radius, I'm going to call little r. That is a little r. So the big r is x, the little r is x squared. And when I set up the equation, volume is equal to pi. Looking at my limits, I am going from 0 to 1. The big r squared little r squared dx. Again, pi big R squared minus little r squared. And when I simplify that, I need to be able to integrate that. I know that's an easy integral. We should all be able to do that, integrate that. which gives me a one-half x squared minus a one-fifth. Ooh, wait, Robles, that's an x squared right there. I didn't do that. I didn't square the x. That's an x squared, which means that's x cubed right there. So verify that, make sure we're OK. And we should end up with 2 pi over 15. I want you to look at part B because now we're rotating about the y-axis. And if we're rotating about the y-axis, I need to be in dy. So I already solved the equation for in terms of y, x equal to y. And on this one, I had to take the square root of both sides, so now I have x equal to the square root of y. And everything has to be in terms of y. So the big radius goes from there to there. We call that big radius, big R. And the little radius goes from the axial revolution to the first curve that it hits, which is that one, I'm going to call that little r. Big R is the square root of y. Little r is y. And when I set up that equation, volume is equal to pi. Integral, the limits are in terms of y, so look at the limits in y, 0 to 1. The big radius, second power, little radius, second power, in terms of y. Big R minus little r. Everything in terms of y. So again, not that bad. We can square each one of those. We can integrate that. correctly this time. And on this one, when I rotate about the y-axis, I end up with 1 pi over 6. Same graphs rotating differently. One about the x-axis and one about the y-axis. 